Just because a shoe has been around since the 80s doesn't mean it can't still have growing pains. And in the past couple years, the Pegasus has struggled with Nike's React Foam and updated Air Zoom Pockets. Is this the year Nike finally gets the tech right again? This is the Pegasus 39. It's time to take it for a run. Point two one miles, nine minutes, nine seconds from 138 beats per minute today, going for a first run in the Nike Zoom Pegasus 39. And before I give you my thoughts on this shoe, just after this first run, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that I bought myself. I also customized it using Nike by you. So no one sent it to me and no one's paying me to make this video and no one's going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the Nike Pegasus 39. First, let's talk about what's different from last year. The big thing to note is that it's gotten a lot lighter than last year and it's got double the air pockets, one in the forefoot and then one in the heel. In terms of weight, it goes from 10.2 ounces or 289 grams last year to 9.4 ounces and 266 grams this year. A very big difference in weight, even though the stack height and the heel drop remains the same with 33 millimeters in the heel and 23 millimeters in the forefoot and that 10 millimeter drop. So same height, but losing a substantial amount of weight. I think that's really coming from two places. One is this coming from changes to the upper, but the other is I think that the air zoom pocket takes up less weight than the same volume of React Foam. I also think there might have been some changes to the React Foam, making it a little bit lighter, a little bit less dense, and a little bit softer as well. The other thing that is noteworthy is that there's a new outsole pattern. Now the overall kind of silhouette is very similar to something that we've seen since the 37 when they had this little bit more elongated, uh, a little bit less conventional of a kind of footprint in this outsole. This year, that one thing that really sticks out to me, even though I don't know that it functionally makes any difference, is that there are now nipples on the lugs of this shoe, which I just don't really understand why they're there, but here they are. And the pattern on that crash rail on the outer portion really elongates as you get back here towards the heel. But yes, it is still in 2022 in the Pegasus 39, a full coverage blown rubber outsole. In terms of changes to the upper, we're bringing back the flywire system, which is something that I thought really worked well in Pegasus of years past. And for my version, I went with the toggle laces or the speed laces option that you can get if you do the Nike by you. For the tongue, it's puffier than I remember last year's, which for me is always a move in the wrong direction. And there is a little bit more of a pronounced tongue with a deeper notch. It almost is kind of like reminiscent of a split tongue design. It's not gusseted and Nike says the reason for that is so that it could better accommodate a wider array of feet although I'm not sure that I believe that. Moving back to the heel, there is still a very light amount of padding, which I think is just right for the Pegasus, and the padding in the heel in the Pegasus is usually pretty much spot on. This year, it feels like there is a little bit more of a pronounced Achilles flare back here, and stylistically, I do think that this looks a little bit better than last year's. In terms of the materials on the upper, we're going with an engineered mesh, which Nike intends to be more breathable while retaining all the strength of a traditional mesh upper. And I will say that the fit with the fly wire uh, is very snug in a good way across the middle of the foot and is still snug in the forefoot in a signature Pegasus kind of way. Although I will say that this is probably one of the roomiest Pegasus toe boxes that I've experienced in a very long time. Now it's time to talk about whether the Pegasus is back on track. And I can answer that question with a resounding yes with an 
asterisk. I will say that compared to the 38, I think the 39 is a dramatic improvement. The 38 was a bit too firm in terms of the midsole foam density, and it was a bit too heavy. It just felt like a heavy shoe, and I didn't love running in the 38. In the 39, it feels lighter, and it also feels like it is a bit softer. Now, I don't know if it's just the fact that there is an air zoom pocket in the heel, and therefore there's a lot less of this React midsole foam, which I think that React, when it gets very thick, has a tendency to become dense and blocky. And I think by cutting out a little section for that heel air zoom unit, I think that that helps in making the overall midsole feel less dense, but also there's less midsole foam. And instead there's an air zoom pocket there instead. And I'm enjoying all of those changes. In terms of the running experience, I took it on an easy run today and I felt like the shoe was very comfy for that easy run. A little bit on the firm side, I would prefer it to be a little bit more springy of a shoe and a little bit less dense of a shoe. But I think that can come down to a lot of preference for some people. People, especially if you're finding that a lot of the newer shoes that are coming out today are a little bit too squishy for you, especially in the ankle and towards the arches, then I think that you're gonna enjoy what the Pegasus 39 is bringing as an offering. Also, I think that if you're a taller or a bigger runner than me, I think that the density of this foam might be just right for you guys because you're gonna be putting a little bit more into the ground with each step than I am. In fact, when I took it for some strides today, picking up the pace a little bit, I'm pushing off the ground a little bit harder, I'm landing on the shoe a little bit harder, and there I felt like the density was just right. I felt like the shoe was very eager to move quickly, and because of that new lightness, it felt very nimble and very willing to pick up the pace. So I think this could turn out to be a real versatile shoe that you could take for those longer runs, but also could take for some workouts as well. Subsequent testing will put this shoe into something that has a couple more pace changes that are a little bit longer than the 15 seconds that I usually reserve for my stride. So stay tuned and hit the subscribe button if you want to see that further testing. Now, when it comes to recovery runs, I think I would definitely prefer a shoe that's a little bit softer than this. But for my everyday runs, this shoe feels a little bit on the firm side, but a shoe that lets you get out there and log those miles. I even found myself today daydreaming a little bit as I was on my easy run, which I always take as a fantastic sign when I am testing out a new daily trainer. Now let's talk about some of the asterisks in terms of whether I think the Pegasus is back with the 39. I think that there's a couple of quirks in the Pegasus that are missing from this shoe. Now, some of you may think that the shoe is now more polished because those are missing, but I kind of have come to like them. One of those things is the prominence of the air zoom bubble. Now in the forefoot, a lot of times people would feel it in the front and it would feel uncomfortable or kind of unnerving to some people. It was just kind of weird to have something right on the pads of your foot that was kind of bouncy like that. I'm not really feeling that in the forefoot here. And I'm not sure that I'm feeling the air zoom pocket in the heel either. I really just feel like I'm running on a softer midsole of all React. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, and a lot of my favorite Nike shoes from the past were just all React midsoles, like the Epic React or the Legend React. Those were fantastic running shoes, and I especially think that the Legend React had a lot of Pegasus-like qualities, and I'm really disappointed that that shoe never made it past year two. Because overall, what I'm looking for in a daily trainer, and this may be purely my preference, is something that's just a touch softer than what the Pegasus 39 provides. I'm really preferring still the carrier that's in the Vomero 16. Now that also has an air zoom pocket in the forefoot, but instead of React that's encapsulating it, it's Nike's SR02, which to me feels pretty much the exact same as Nike's Cushlon, which is the foam that used to be in the Pegasus. And I feel like the new modern air zoom pocket with that SR02 slash Cushlon is a really great combo that made for me the Vomero the best Pegasus of last year. And I'm still looking for that kind of level of softness, especially if I'm gonna take this for a long run, in combination with the new Air Zoom Pockets when I'm thinking about the Pegasus 39 and beyond. And the last thing that I'll say as kind of as a critique of this shoe is it's 2022 and we're talking about React as a midsole foam here. React is a foam that you can run directly on. The Epic React proved that as many of you were able to run in that shoe past 300, 500, 700 miles without that midsole phone getting excessively chewed up. So do we really need full rubber coverage on the outsole? It really starts to feel like the Pegasus design is getting put on cruise control here when we still see a redesigned outsole that 
pretty much is the same thing as last year and still has way too much rubber coverage than what this foam dictates. And so that's something that I really think is disappointing that we're still seeing as such a legacy carryover when it's now becoming vestigial. So overall, I think that the Pegasus 39 is a dramatic improvement over the Pegasus 38. And in fact, I think the Pegasus 39 is going to be in my top five daily trainers of the year because I am really enjoying it. But as good as this this Pegasus 39 is, it leaves me thinking how much better could it have been? So those are my thoughts on the Pegasus 39 just after this first run. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or better yet, stop by the live stream that I do Monday through Friday right here on YouTube. You can always ask me anything in the chat. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I will see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?